Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Anavi Mitra and I am working in a fan company as a SD. So I have got a lot of DMs and uh, comments as well uh, to make a video on how to handle 90 days notice period. So my video will be on this topic like how if you are working in a company especially service based companies like Infosys, TCS there are 90 days notice period how you can handle and if you want to switch like what should be your strategy so that you can uh, reach to your uh, dream company with this 90 days notice period. So basically I was also from uh, in, I was from Infosys and there were 90 days notice period. So I know when I, I thought to switch and I, uh, I got some calls, uh, many uh, HR didn't uh, go with my candidature because I had to serve 90 days notice period and at that point they need immediate jo uh, joiners. So that is the reason like uh, when you are an immediate joiner you have more demand but when you have to serve this 3 month long notice period then um, the choices are very less. So how to handle this and how you can like tackle this situation as well. This I am going to tell you. So before moving ahead to the video, I want to say that I'm available in uh, topmate.io. So if you want anyone is to call or if you want me to review your resume or take mock interview, you can go and book a uh, call. The link is in the description. So now let's move with the uh, actual topic of our uh, video. So I will first say like why if you are an immediate joiner, why uh, your chances are more and why com many companies don't uh, proceed with uh, the 90 days uh, notice period thing. So think of like suppose one company needs one developer, maybe a React developer and uh, if you have all the qualities but you can only join after 90 days then there is no point of hiring you they will search, obviously search for someone who can join immediately again uh, this is one of the reason that company mainly uh, give uh, the priorities to the immediate joiners and the next thing is obviously suppose um, this is a very common case that they will give you an offer and you will accept it and later you can come with another offer which is paying more and you can negotiate it so either company have to match with your criteria or in the worst case you won't be joining that company so it will be a total loss for that company because they have arranged all the interview all the resources but still you are not joining so that is why all obviously the immediate joiners are always given more preference now the second point i will tell like what you can do it's not like that suppose you are stuck in a company which has three month long notice period and you can't switch obviously the people are switching so what you can do and how you can land up at your uh, dream job or maybe at a job which is paying a good amount so what you can do so uh, first thing you need to check uh, your company alumni so you can find that in LinkedIn or maybe in other sites you can go and you can check like if they have switched then which company they have switched so suppose you are working in company A and you want to um, switch and you can uh, search for some uh, alumni and you can see that they have uh, uh, went to switch to this company so maybe some case may happen that it was not their first choice they didn't put their papers because of that company maybe they have got this uh, companies when they were in notice period but 50 percent of the cases it will happen that they are switched into a company for which they have put their papers and uh, uh, that is the company they they were pay, uh, paying well even for my case also i just uh, when i resigned i was uh, i got had one offer only and i continued with that offer only so there can be cases and there cannot be but 50 percent of the cases you will find that there are companies which are okay with your 90 days notice period now they can uh, may not be paying that much well but obviously they are paying or they are giving a good hike so though that time you can use those companies as a backup 
so you can, first thing will be make a list of the companies which are okay with your 90 days notice period and you can use them as backup so if you are getting a good offer then obviously you don't need to think much you can go with that but if you think that you deserve more then you just take that offer as backup and the next thing will you will start uh, searching for more job so once you have one offer and you have resigned that is the time you have that immediate joiner tag uh, what you will do you will go to your linkedin profile the tagline you will add that you're serving notice period 60 days left 90 days left 30 days left like this you will update your knockery profile your cv each and everywhere so that whenever you are going and have a contact with recruiter that tag will matter and they will when you are an immediate joiner all your interviews everything will be scheduled uh, very first and you will get the offer soon so what will happen when you are searching uh, you are just an employee and you have no offer it may get delayed but when you have one offer and you are an immediate joiner guy then that time it won't take that much time so yeah, once you are updating and you are searching for the companies, maybe that will give you more hike or maybe your dream job. Suppose you have an offer from startup and you want to go to any product based companies or fan companies. That time you can use uh, this time for preparation as well. And also it will be helpful for you because you have already one offer. So you have backup and also you can negotiate with that offer as well. So this is how you should handle your 90 days notice period. First, you need to check those companies which are okay with your 90 days notice period. You will apply them. If you get this, uh, if you get a good company and you think that you will join that company, then it is very much okay. Just enjoy your 90 days notice period. And if you think you deserve more, then keep on uh, trying more and make sure you have add that you are servicing notice period this tagline in your all your uh, profiles so that uh, recruiters will directly contact you and all the things will be soon and you can negotiate with your uh, offers so this is how you should do so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any feedback or if you have any comments for me please comment it and if you want to connect with me, you can connect via LinkedIn or there is my Telegram channel. If you want more such videos, you can join my Telegram channel and there will be updates from me. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.